love? Oh, my poor love. What has the foul beast done to you? Look at that collar around your neck. And your sleep is so deep that you're next to death. You poor, poor thing. Are you waking up? Did I break the curse? Oh, what a wonderful day. I only just found you again, but I thought I'd lost you for a second time. I wasn't sure if I could ever wake you from your enchanted sleep. I'm so happy to finally have you back. Shh, shh don't shout. You'll wake the dragon. Be very quiet. It's me. You must remember me. I'm your betrothed, Duchess Hilda of Gradshire. I promised your father all of my armies in exchange for your hand. Yes, I do look older. It has been a stressful three years since you were taken from me. But I hope I still retain the elegance that you complimented all that time ago. It really shouldn't surprise you that I came to rescue you. You should expect no less from your beloved. I spent all this time sending out scouts to locate you while I trained with warriors and mages to learn how to save you. It's all a very long story, but we can chat later. We must prepare to leave immediately before the dragon wakes up. Oh, that collar is trapping you in this cave? Hmm. I can sense two enchantments on that collar. A location-binding enchantment, and a soul-binding enchantment. I'll have to break the former. <laughs> the dragon told you it was nearly impossible to break the location enchantment? <laughs> a mere bluff. It might be difficult for someone lesser, but it is trivial for me. It will, however, take me some time, so just hold still for a minute. As for the soul bind, I will see what I can do about that once we get back to my castle. That collar is mixed in with your soul and we don't have time right now to untangle the two without hurting you. Though the collar is quite lovely, I think it accentuates your fragile beauty. Maybe we could- wait, I think I've got it. Yes, you should be free from the location bind. Now be a good boy, and wait outside. This next part is dangerous, and I don't want you to get hurt. Besides, I doubt a delicate prince like you will want to see it. Why, I'm going to slay the dragon, of course. What a ridiculous question. It kidnapped my beautiful love, and so I need my revenge for the five years with you that it stole from me. Now. If I sever the carotid arteries in the neck, it should bleed out fairly quickly, but it'll probably thrash around for several seconds. <laughs> While I enjoy holding your hand, love, I do need it to grip my sword. This is a two-handed weapon, so you'll have to let go of me. I said to let go. I need to slay the dragon, let go! No, don't pull on my arm! Stop it! Why are you doing this? Why are you trying to protect this beast? No. No! Let me stab its neck! Stop tugging on me! You- What do you think you're doing? Get back in the cave. Now! I don't want you to get hurt. The thief is correct, treasure. I don't want your fancy clothes to singe when I Prior to a crisp! <sighs> you ugly beast. Did you believe what? I would come to rescue my groom so unprepared? No. I drank a heat-resistant potion before entering your lair. You'll have to face me fairly. I've all worse than you. You should have preferred a quick death by fire to being mauled to death. And you should have preferred dying in your sleep to being hacked to pieces. Have at you! Stop 
vermin. Stop dodging yourself. I can't help it, you big, ugly brute. I've seen frail old men swing faster than you. It would take effort to be hit by your attacks. I'll shatter your bones like glass. Just, just one hit to you. Arr! The cut from my sword hurts, doesn't it? This is a dragon slayer's weapon. It's made to cut through your scales like water. You're defenseless, so just lie down, and I'll make your death quick. Defenseless? You really are simple-minded. I already told you that I'm immune to your flames. <gasps> Maybe you are, but it appears that your armor is not. <laughs> My armor... It melted! A oh, pity. I would have kept it in my hoard as a trophy. But now we are both defenseless. <laughs> then I'd call it a fair fight if it wasn't against a baby. <sighs> what are you talking about? You didn't tell my groom, did you? I bet you tried to act like you were ancient and powerful. But I know who you are. And I also know a young dragon when I see one. How old are Quiet, you? Quiet, vermin! <laughs> You're tiny, too. There are dragons thrice your size that could easily squash you. You steal in the dead of night like a coward, and your hoard is pitiful. Ah! <laughs> I know you, too, Duchess. I could recognize your worthless stench from a mile away. Your pathetic back. Water holdings aren't worthy of being relied on. You live subjugated under a king while I live free and mighty under my own protection. The king. The king who begs for my favor, and yet whose army nearly killed you? You flew far away to hide and lick your wounds, but apparently that battle didn't teach you your place. No. You went out and took what's mine. What is that, vassal? You should be used by your superiors, taking what's yours. Go back to paying your tribute and whipping your serfs like a good little subject. My serfs are loyal, and I'm beloved by them. And I have the king and the queen on a leash. They do my bidding. It took one pretty boy for you to forfeit your army to them. If I hadn't taken him first, you would be a toothless throw. I'll slit your throat, you barbarous lizard! I will crush you into paste, you despotic hag! <laughs> Look at that! You made my treasure upset! How dare you! You've been shouting and roaring and stomping. You made him upset. You barged in on our lovely hibernation. You stole him from his family and from the woman he was eager to marry. It was arranged. He didn't have a choice in the matter. Says the beast who put a collar on him. <sighs> now look what you've done. His tears are flowing freely. You all right? I'm here. You're going to be fine. I'm just going to save you from this terrible beast and bring you home with me. Don't worry, treasure. I won't let the thief hurt you. No one is going to take you from me, I promise. It's you he is scared of. You... Okay, okay, okay. Please stop like you asked. Please, please stop the tears. I can't bear to see them. Why can't I kill the thief? She made you cry. Only I am allowed to do that. That's the dragon you want me to spare. Her. My treasure has shown you mercy, thief. Leave in peace immediately before I decide otherwise. Not without my groom. Mercy does not mean you get to steal from me, thief. You stole him from me. He is my betrothed, destined to be my husband. Your brothel is all the more reason not to let you steal him from me. You would make a terrible 
wonderful wife for him. My wonderful treasure deserves better than a woman so impoverished and poorly tempered. I'm sorry. And how do you treat him? You've kept him locked up in a cave for five years. You shout, and you roar, and you put a collar on him. And what amenities do you provide him? A crushed pile of old mattresses? It's comfortable. Decorative but useless glass replicas of cooking equipment? The scenery of the same dark, cold, damp rocks day in and day out? When is the last time he's gotten to see the sun? When is the last time he's gotten to breathe air that didn't smell like your charcoal breath? I say we let him decide. I'm sorry? If we cannot agree on who would treat him better, then it is only fair we let the prince decide who he would rather be with. If he truly desires you, then I will let you borrow him until your natural death. I don't trust the honesty of a dragon. <laughs> if I'm lying, then you would simply have to fight me, as you originally intended. If I am being truthful, then you get your groom with no bloodshed. What would you have to lose? And why would you ever agree to that? We both know he would rather be with me instead of stuck as an item of a dragon. If you're so certain of my treasure's answers, why are you so afraid of asking his opinion? Fine. My prince, who would you rather be with? Me or the greedy, thieving... <coughs> beast who stole you from your home. What? <laughs> you see, he doesn't want you. My treasure would rather continue embracing me than marry you. No. No, you're just intimidating him. He's afraid to leave because you might hurt him. <laughs> no. <laughs> My love... My love, I can handle the dragon and her violent tantrums. You don't have to be scared. Please, just say the word and I'll bring you home, I swear on it. How could you be like that? After everything I've been through to get you back, how could you choose to stay with this monster rather than fulfill our betrothal? <laughs> I went through all of the formalities. I courted you over months to try to gain your favor. I bargained your father for your hand. And when you were stolen and in prison, I spent years training with the most experienced combat tutors one could hire. I fought a dragon for you. I earned you fair and square. Are you just some deviant freak who prefers giant scaly monsters over fair ladies? Is that it? You have no right to reject me. You belong to me, you insolent brat. You're mine. You're my treasure, not hers. You're mine. 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 That's enough. My treasure has made his decision. And so I have made mine. You cannot take him. He is Mine. <laughs> and what's to stop me from slaying you and taking my rightful groom by force? <laughs> Him, of course. Of course. He'll get in the way and try to protect you. We were well-matched opponents. The support of my treasure would be enough to turn the tides of our battle. <laughs> I meant that he might get injured in our battle. I'd still be able to gut you like a pig, even if I had to fight him, too. And you, you will rue this day, my love. You will rue choosing a dragon over your beloved. In fact, since you love this hideous creature so much, why don't you go marry her instead of me? Go and see how that works out for you, dragon lover. Leave, thief! I will swat you into the wall if you continue to loiter in my home and antagonize my treasure any longer. Fine. Good. You stay here, man. 
There is something I long to do. was a lot less cocky when she didn't have me trapped in a cave with my valuables to hide behind. I don't believe she will bother us again. Oh, don't mope that I chased her off. If I didn't, she would simply come back with an army to kill us. Or me. I can spot a plotting look when I see one. And she insulted you. <sighs> it's unforgivable. How could I let her get away with that unscathed? <sighs> I'm fine, treasure. Just tired. The thief managed to few slashes across my sides, but they're simply flesh wounds. I've already cauterized them with my breath as I flew back. <sighs> Yes, I will be fine. Treasure? Well, I am certainly proud of your decision to stay with me. I admit that was rather unexpected. Well, you always complain so much about me, my lair. So why? Why did you choose to stay? Oh, I see. I was the only one who offered you a choice. Oh, treasure. <laughs> Tell me you didn't actually believe I would let that thief steal you. Well, it was a trick. If you left with her, if you made your way down the mountain, I was planning to swoop down once you'd reached the open plains, devour her like the snack she is, and then bring you home to my lair where you belong. Or to your cunning dragon. Ah. <laughs> I can see by the expression on your face that you are less amused with my deception than I am. Ah, regardless... It is for the best that my treasure stays with me, where he will remain unhurt. I didn't trust that nasty thief to properly appreciate your value. Um, yes, I hate to concede it, but she may have had a point. I, too, have been treating you rather poorly, haven't I? Yes, poorly. You deserve more freedoms and the luxuries. I will let you leave the cave with me to go flying. Perhaps carve out a few more tunnels for better ventilation. And um, I'll get some dwarves to install some of those wondrous innovations to my lair. A, a bed, um, uh, chiseled walls... Proper floors, perhaps a kitchen with real tools, more, more. Um, I quite like the idea of a hot springs. Warm my chilly scales during winter. Tell me, what do you think, my treasure? <sighs> we can discuss it more when we wake up. Well, first I must resume my hibernation. The sleep drags at me. I have many injuries to heal. Come, my treasure, let me hold you. <sighs> now I really do love you, Beth. More than I ever thought possible. I always believed. No... I always knew that the greatest place of honor and affection was a dragon's most valued treasure. And yet, you have grown more important to me than that. Yes, more important makes you vulnerable. If I had wanted to, 
My queen had kept that thief. Kept her as part of my hoard for you. Chained her up as my second pet. You know, keep you happy. Let you marry her and make the babies. I think she might have even accepted the arrangement had I suggested it. But as soon as I saw you standing with her... <sighs> I didn't want you to marry her. I didn't want you to love her. I wanted you to love me. I wanted you to love me like I love you. Yes, that is what I wanted. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Maybe that's because I don't understand how I feel. This is new. But I just wanted you to know how loved you are. And that I am very happy when you are near. Yes, that is what I wanted to say. You... Say that again? You love me too. <clears throat> I... <clears throat> you sh shouldn't have said that. Now I'm never going to let you leave my claws. <laughs> no. No. My precious love is going to stay exactly here. Safely enveloped in my claws and wings until the end of time. I couldn't bear to see him anywhere else. Yeah. Maybe we could fly those places. Would you like to see the tranquil ocean? Mm. Would you like to voyage beyond the sea? Yes. Dream with me first, my treasure. Dream. Show me. My treasure. Boop the like button. Mm -mm. Then the bell. 